in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tariq Sud. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success. We are a partner. Please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition. Thank you very much again for your precious time. Okay, now today we are going to discuss lecture number 7, Six Sigma Lean Management Model, Define, Amire, Analyze, Improve and Control Mechanisms. Okay, before my lecture I used to read a chronic verse. Rabbi Shrahali Sadri wa Yassarli Amri wa Halal Uqda Tam Millisani Yaqfu Kool Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Okay, from my next slide, I'm going to run a complete a tale on lecture number seven. Okay, Six Sigma Lean Management. Define phase lecture number seven. Before a lecture number seven, just want to give a recap what we have discussed so far. Lecture number one and two, we have discussed the Six Sigma methods, Six Sigma principles, Lean and DMAC. What is the difference between Lean management system and DMAC? Define, measure, analyze, improve and control mechanism. We have also discussed a Lean history. Lecture number three and four, we have discussed history of Six Sigma, Six Sigma strategy, conventional strategy, Six Sigma criticals, problem solving strategy of Six Sigma, voice of customer. Lecture number 5 and 6 we have discussed DMAC. Define opportunities, measure performance, analyze opportunities, improve performance and control mechanisms. On my next slide I am going to give a key takeaway points from lecture number 7. Okay, key takeaway points from lecture number 7. First, we'll discuss the role and responsibility of process owner or champions. Then, how black belt, master black belt, green and yellow belts will contribute. And last, not least, a life of Six Sigma. Okay. Okay. Okay, first, we will give a highlights on a DMAC and a process improvement a roadmap. What is basically? Define, measure, analyze, improve control mechanism and process improvement map. If you will start from left to right, a first is define opportunities. So what is important basically in the first phase? Then second, a measure performance and how are we doing? Number three, analyze opportunities. What is wrong we are doing? And number four, improve performance and what needs to be done. And number fifth and last, control performance or sustainability. How do we guarantee a performance that is sustained or it will deliver the required results. That is how this road map demonstrate, define, may analyze, improve control mechanism or integrate to each other in order to deliver the required results. Okay, now first uh, we are going to discuss uh, champion or process owner what is the basically process owner responsibility okay the process owner or champion what he 
should demonstrate champion identify and select the most meaningful projects to work on they provide guidance to the six sigma belt and open the doors for the belts to apply the process improvement technologies okay what he has to do first on a project selections then execution control implementation and realization of game okay the next stage on project selection process so what he has to do obtain a needed project resources and eliminates a road blocks okay after that participate in all project reviews so the first here then ask a good question how the project can be executed and one to three hours per week a commitment to contribute in order to accomplish the project assignment so that is what a champion or process owner must do it okay on my next slide we'll talk about what is the role of master of black belt okay now we're going to discuss uh, the responsibility of a black belt master of black belt it's also known mbb master of black belt should be well versed with all aspects of six sigma from technical application to project management and execution master black belts need to have the ability to influence change and motivate others first what he has to do provide advice and counsel to executive staff that is the first instance he has to do on the second provide a training and support okay in class training and on site mentoring okay then what would be the deliverable from the training facilitate a culture change and then develop sustainability for the business improvement process that is what a black belt has to do as far as role and responsibilities are concerned okay then what black belt will do bb so what the bb has to do black belts are application experts and work project within the business they should be well versed with the six sigma technologies and have the ability to drive results first a project a team leaders and then facilitate dmac team what basically dmac define measure analyze improvement and control so what they will do so first applying a six sigma methods then a solve problems okay then work across functionalities and next contribute to accomplish of organization goals here and last year provide a technical support to improvement efforts so that is what a black belt has to do as far as the six sigma improvement is concerned okay now green belt what green belt has to do here okay the green belt are practitioners of six sigma methodology and typically work within their functional areas or support a larger black belt projects okay first what he has to do well versed in the definition and measurement of critical process first here and second creating a process control system okay number 2 typically work project and existing functional areas and then involve in identifying improvement opportunities then involve in continuous improvement efforts here and then applying basic tools like a pdca prevent detect control and actions okay then last a team member on dmac here so what team member has to do define measure analyze improvement control supporting project with process knowledge and data collection 
that is what a green belt has to do it okay now green belt certification criteria what he has to do complete a lean six sigma green belt a training course complete one lean six sigma project submit final project presentation which documents lean six sigma tools application in each project phase and project financial benefits typically 50000 40000 60000 dollar how much achieved so that is the requirement as far as the green belt certification criteria is concerned okay in my last three slide we have discussed mbb master black belt black belt and green belt now this is my last we are going to discuss uh, uh yellow belt six sigma so what yellow belt sigma has to do provide a support to black belt green belt as needed number one number two be a team member of dmac define measure analyze improve and control teams and supporting project with process knowledge and data collections so that is his key responsibility a key participation as far as six sigma is concerned okay life of six sigma so what basically life of six sigma uh, as a six sigma belt can be one of the most rewarding undertaking of your career and one of the most difficult task you can expect to experience the following as I listed here the first is hard work here becoming a six sigma belt is not easy task long hours training be a change agent for your organization work effectively as a team leader prepare a present reports on a progress then receive mentoring from your master black belt okay perform mentoring for your team members and last not least achieve desired results that is what the life of six sigma demonstrated into in the pyramid phase okay now on my next slide this is my conclusion what we discuss a process owner and champion what he has to do black green and yellow belts role and responsibilities life of six sigma on my going to next topic we are going to discuss a project charter sample of project charter what we has to do starting point and problem statement and business case this is the next topic we are going to discuss how the project charter can be constituted and a starting point and problem statement and business case so thank you very much for your precious time thank you very much for your precious time please do not hesitate send me your feedback and comments t.msood.dr at path.edu please stay at home stay safe inspired and blessed thank you very much again for your precious time